artistic musing start young and Nalini Mehta was just a teenager when hers took birth. The year was 1947 and this budding artist had flown the coop to get an MA degree at the prestigious Columbia University. However, fate intervened and Nalini's life took quite an unexpected turn as she was shopping on a busy New York boulevard. Fascinated by a paper cutter in the shop window, Nalini rushed in to purchase it, assuming that something so beautiful could only be crystal. Upon closer inspection, she realized the material used was something so basic that its primary uses are industrial. It was acrylic and the rest, as they say, is history. We were just window shopping and I, we passed a 5 and 10 cents store and I saw a small paper weight. It was looking like a crystal thing. So I said, 5 and 10 cents stores, I mean, you won't find a crystal thing over there. So we stepped into it. And we saw, it was looking beautiful. I said, all right, I'll buy it. I bought it for some 10 cents or 15 cents, I don't remember. After coming home, we were just thinking that we should put it on a wall. And while we had to make a hole to put it, I made a hole, and that hole itself was uh, given such a nice impression that I thought that I should do something into it. Now, we were there for about a month after that. After coming to Bombay, I tried to develop the art. To devote one's life to an art form necessitates perseverance, patience, dedication or what Nalini likes to call sadhana. And it was the result of all these that led Nalini to dedicate herself to an art that has been a dominant part of her life for the last 50 years. Acrylic art, foregoing her MA degree, armed with the paper cutter that started it all, Nalini came back to Bombay after a six-month stint at the Pratt Institute. Determined to develop an art quite different from any other and to use acrylic as a canvas for her artistic expression. But unfortunately, sourcing the material was a bit of a problem. In India, when I came, there was a uh, plastic factory, uh, Bright Brothers. So I went to them and I said, See, I want some acrylic, can you give me? Said we we don't mind giving you, but rather than that, I would we would like you to teach our staff something. Some of our artisans would learn it. I said no, I don't have that time because I was not staying in Bombay. I was staying at Kalyan, which was quite 40 miles away from Bombay. So if you give me a I can try it. Then there was bangle factory. They were making acrylic bangles. And in those days, there was no injection mold, uh, molding. So they were doing from acrylic sheets. They used to cut the bangles. So the inner part of the bangle, there was a round thing. I used to buy it in scrap. Because it was useless for them. And I started carrying in them. And making small people weights and trinkets out of it. That is how I started. The fascination for acrylic was born out of the material's pliability, simplicity and of course the ease with which it allows the artist's inspiration to transcend into reality. Unlike other hard materials, acrylic doesn't crack easily and its transparency is the perfect foundation for talent, design and colour to merge. Actually, it's a three-dimensional thing. So three-dimensional, you cannot draw in it. Maybe you might point out on it that here I want a certain flower, a certain leaf, but you can't draw the flower in it. Now, if you keep it upside down, that you don't know where your drill is going. That's why I look at the top, and my drill goes from the down. So from the top, I can see what I'm doing. 
acrylic sheets of 2 to 4 inches thickness are her canvas and the drill is her paintbrush. But not just any drill, Nalini developed her own drill. A Dremel drill with a specially sharpened bit that is fine enough to carve the delicate artworks at a speed of 25,000 revolutions per minute. The challenge of carving acrylic lies in the fact that a basic talent for sculpting is required, knowledge of proportions and depth are vital or else the drill may simply cut through the acrylic. Any mistakes, miscalculations of depth or misjudgments of proportion result in starting from scratch, literally. Uh, I've done one piece which is three feet by four feet. It took me one and a half years to do it. Not only that, I fractured my arm also doing it. Because the weight is so much. And you cannot draw on it now. And you do it, uh, I mean, you do it from the bottom and see at the top. If you make a mix mistake, the drill will come out and you will make a big hole in it. And the people will be of no use. So you have to be very, very careful about it. Nalini's raison d'etre is nature. For her, there is nothing more beautiful than nature's gifts to mankind, from flora and fauna to birds and animals. Her artworks attempt at recreating the joy of life and replicating the vitality of colour. This is her motivation and has been the driving force for her art for the last 50 years. An added benefit of working with nature and carving only natural designs is that she never runs out of new ideas. Nature is always evolving and so does her talent. My fascination is more for flowers. I have lived with flowers all my life, since my childhood. And always I have found that it creates a sort of a fantasy around me. Nalini's flirtation for colour started way before her fascination for acrylic. In fact, like other artists, she has experimented with everything from watercolours to oils, from fabric painting to sculptures. A lot of these experiments have won her several awards and some recognition. But her true calling has always been something off the beaten track and that's when she decided to merge carving in acrylic with paint to develop an art that is both three-dimensional and vibrant. Nalini's passion for acrylic carvings was enhanced by filling them with vivid hues. A technique she has developed herself, Nalini uses a dropper to fill her carvings with paint. Water-based paints are mixed with acetone to create a consistency of colour that will stick to the acrylic. This mixture is then dropped into the carvings to bring colour into the piece. An interesting byproduct of this mixture is that the colours sealed within the acrylic stay true for several years and will not fade. You know, when you capture nature, I mean, you feel as if it's a dream. You have taken up a challenge and as if your dreams have come true. And I want people also to believe that there's nothing impossible in this world to do. If you want to do it, you should have patience, perseverance and you can do it. In the last five decades, Nalini has created over 500 inimitable art pieces and approximately 10,000 artifacts. Loyal clientele stay abreast of her progress and consistently drop by to pick up their favourite pieces. Dedicated students are a regular fixture at her workshop. Her family is proud that her energy and passion is stronger today than ever before. A firm believer that nothing is impossible, Nalini dares everyone to create their own wonderland if you're brave enough to step into it and live your dream.